Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be installing MediaWiki onto a Windows host. Uh, as we can see, we've already got the uh, setup window up. What we've already done is we've installed the Apache service with PHP and MySQL in the background. So we now have the MediaWiki ready to be installed on a Windows machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue into the installation here. Uh, as you can see, everything has passed the check. We are not going to be using any caching systems at this time. Um, we also do not have all the um, additional scripting utilities installed. Um, you can do that, but this is just a basic installation of getting the MediaWiki installed. So first thing is, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to run MySQL uh, database host is local local uh, host. We're just going to call the database name MyWiki. Uh, we're not going to mess with the prefix. Um, database username, we're going to go with uh, my wiki and we're just going to basically put in our password right there and click. Actually, before we do that, we need to first of all um, ins uh, set up MySQL. So we're going to bring up the console and we're going to log in. Uh, if I can remember the password, you want to make sure you write these things down. Um, actually, I'd, yep, that's what I thought it was blank because it's a fresh install. And what we want to do is we want to create database. When we were calling this my wiki, we want to use um, my wiki. And what we want to now actually do is create a user. Alright, so we're going to call the uh, oops. Alright, so we're going to create the user, what we call my wiki at local host. And we want to identify it with, say, the password. Okay, so now we created the uh, the user, and what we want to do is we want to grant, you know, the user um, privileges, so that they can access the database and do everything. So this was the my wiki, and that's everything under that. To, and let's see, this was the user my wiki at localhost again and we're going to identify it by its password again okay so now we have MySQL there installed we can now continue and we're going to use the search engine um, there's a lot of debates on whether or not you want to use InnoDB or MyISAM. It honestly depends on personal preference. Um, it also depends on what you want to do. So it really doesn't quite matter that much in this setup, but depending on how big the wiki gets you and how you want to administer your systems. But that's a whole other video, and we'll get into the differences between the two. But in this case, it's really not going to matter. Okay, so we'll just call this my wiki. And we're going to become meow. Once again, use our super secret, awesome, amazing, long, powerful password. And we are going to be meow at kittens.com. And we do not want more questions. We just want to get and play with the uh, the new cat toy. Continue. And we're going to current install and let everything run. Installing, installing. Good. And we want to go ahead and just save this file. Okay, what we're going to do is we want to actually let's just see if we can save this to say um, the desktop here. So take that and let's open up say computer because we have it in the default installation directory which is right here. We just need to copy over the the local settings. For those who do not know what this is, um, pretty much all this is is just containing all the plugins and other information. It's got, you know, the database information. 
So you can even skip the entire wiki setup and actually just create this and plug into it. Okay, so now that's done, we go into the wiki. And here we go. We have our wiki page set up. So this is the wiki page, and we now have our special little wiki, um, you know, all set up. And you now we're ready to go and have some fun. So put the meow up. So that's all there is to it to setting up a wiki on your lo local host. Um, you can use on any other Windows machine if you want. Use it on a network or set up a remote server and access it from anywhere, you know. So that's really all there is to it. So I hope this video has helped you. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, um, and anything else we've got. We've got a LinkedIn account now, so be sure to hop on. Thanks for watching, guys.